George is back. Do you miss me, guys? Tell me in the comments below. I've been gone for one week, and I've had my team create videos introducing themselves, and I'd love to know whether you want to keep meeting the team. Tell me in the comments below, and we'll keep introducing more people if you say you like to meet them. And my trips have taken me to Palawan. Palawan is a island in the Philippines. There's 7,000 7, islands in the Philippines. And I've been now to two. That's 6,998 to go. <laughs> and we explored the potential of working with the Chamber of Commerce and the people in the seven universities as a source for new graduates. There are 6,000 new graduates from Palawan every year and we're going to evaluate whether they are good potential for adding to our development team so we can make more cool stuff for you. Do you want to hear more about this? Tell me in the comments below and I'll keep you up to date if you're interested. And we have a new leadership team for the Gamers channel. Go to youtube.com gamers and there's a whole schedule where every single day there's a new show, there's a large team behind the Gamers channel now, and we're going to create some awesome content both from the community where we upload the best videos from partners and outside of freedom as well and scheduled programming shows that are really focused on game news and podcasts and things that help you interact with everybody and our staff on the gamers channel if you want to join gamers go there and apply we will submit the best videos to the channel to help promote you on youtube.com slash gamers freedom points a lot of you still think freedom points are live they're in beta guys beta means we're still testing that means all the freedom points you are earning are just like a beta in a game that is still going through testing and when the game launches there's a character wipe and the same thing with freedom points there will be a freedom point wipe so please don't complain that, hey, I've got 110% revenue share redeemed and I didn't get 110% revenue share. It's because it's all in testing. So there's no live 110% revenue shares yet. We first need to calibrate everything and fix all the bugs. A few of you have figured out that you can gift negative freedom points to give yourself unlimited freedom points, which we never thought of. Kudos to you for being creative. Those are the kinds of things we need to catch while in beta. That's why the points don't count yet. And when we fix all these bugs and reward the people who are creative for finding things like gifting negative freedom points with some real freedom points when we launch, then they will be live. I hope this helps you understand about freedom points. Let's talk about Indiegogo. Indiegogo.com lets you fund, raise money for your projects. Would you like us to feature Indiegogo projects from within the network? I've already committed to featuring one project, which is an internet TV uh, effort to create stations that you can embed on your website that makes uh, basically internet television off YouTube. It's an off YouTube strategy. I think it was the most compelling project. A few of you have emailed me your Indiegogo projects, and I'm going to feature one which I think was the best one. And then if you tell me, the fans, the audience, down there in the comments below that you want to hear about more Indiegogo projects and how they can, um, what's cool and exciting about them, then I'll feature more here on The George Show on the Freedom Central channel. Just let me know. We have a lot of other updates like a new heartbeat. We have a developer, his name is Raven, and he is building a new heartbeat crawler that will allow us to index all of YouTube. We've already indexed almost 500,000 channels and we're quickly growing to millions. And as soon as that's ready, I'll let you know, it's our better, more accurate version of Social Blade, which incidentally has not updated in like two months. And our network is still showing we have 5,000 channels on Social Blade when we have 30,000. Come on, dude. Uh, update, please. We'd like to see our new statistics. I know we're not number 25 anymore. I think we're like number 20, maybe number 15 in all the networks. We'd love to see those stats. So Jason Ergo, please fix Social Blade or we will build a better one. And you don't want that, right? <laughs> no, it's friendly competition, guys. When we launch Heartbeat, it won't be just a Social Blade analytics. It'll have a lot of other cool features, which will include analytics, 
but we'll include them in a way to help your channel grow and help you connect with other YouTubers. It's a dating for YouTubers. And by that we mean it's connecting on common interest. We're going to use channel statistics, things like what videos you enjoy. We're going to let you bookmark moments, video marks they're called. It's like bookmarks for video. And based on the video marks you choose, the start and stop points, your favorite moments, we can match you with other people who make the same or similar video marks to help you find collaborators and people to work with based on common interest dating. So it's not, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend dating, it's common interest dating. And for those of you who don't know, I met my wife, Xiao Yu, through a website, notmatch.com, <clears throat> although I did use the, that service to look for a future wife and I just couldn't find one to connect with for a long-term relationship. Went on many dates, <clears throat> but nothing really worked out. The point is, I met my wife on studypond.com, which sadly is no longer in business. I guess they couldn't make their business model profitable. But Study Pond was a website which connected language exchange. I was looking to learn Chinese because I had a meeting with EMI in Taiwan. I had the business idea of promoting Asian singers outside of Asia, and I wanted to learn how to speak Chinese, at least the basics, so I could go to that meeting and say more than just ni hao, and I had Xiaoyu as one of my teachers who I found through studypond.com. I had three teachers at the time. We were using Skype to do language exchange lessons. And Xiaoyu and I met for the first time in Taiwan. She went with me to all the meetings in case I didn't know how to understand Chinese. <laughs> and uh, we actually built a relationship when we weren't looking for one that was more personal and not just business. And then a year later, we got married. A year after that, we had our first baby girl, Avienda, who is now almost five years old. So it's been a six year, uh, six, we've been married for six years and it's going really well. So I hope you enjoyed that little bit of trivia and I hope you enjoyed this update. Uh, I hope you missed me. And if you did, the good news is I'm back from my travels and I will be making more episodes of The George Show, both edited and unedited, because some of you said you prefer unedited, some of you prefer edited, so we'll give you both. And we'll see you on the next episode of The George Show, unedited. All your secrets, if you really look at yourself, you will be speechless. What happened to being doctors and teachers? What happened to being your brother's keeper? Nowadays,